The singles match is underway between uh, Lin Dan of China and Li Dongqun of Korea. Lin Dan of China wearing the yellow and Li Dongqun wearing the blue colours for Korea. Already a problem with the shuttlecock. It's changed over. A lot of pressure here on Lin Dan of China. He must keep China's hopes alive in this gold medal contest. Korea leading two matches to love. Son Wan Ho winning the singles over Chen Long for Korea. Son putting Korea up one love. And then the doubles pair of Yu Yeon Seong and Lee Dong Yong Dae. For Korea defeating Zhu Chen and Zhang Nan of China. So Korea leading two matches to love in this best of five gold medal contest. And that falls in quite easily in to make it two all. That was a misjudgment by Lin. And he looks just a little tense at the present time, Lin Dan. You can understand that. Breathing in and out as if to try and ease his nerves, and that's long. Lin Dan, now 30 years old, representing China, twice an Olympic champion and five times world champion in singles. Demonstrating his power there, that huge left arm and hand, powering it away for the winner. And then Dan has an ex exciting record when you look at it. So, so many achievements, but certainly high on them. Winning the singles at the London and Beijing's games, winning the gold medals there. In 08 and 12. And he does it again with that left hand smash down the centre. Just too good for Lee. It's 4 3 in favour of Lin. But at world championship level, Lin Dan, he won in 2013 in Guangzhou, but before that, 2011, 20, uh, 2009, 2007, and 2006, he was the world champion in the singles. out hasn't quite found his range yet Lindan it's for all into the net played some beautiful shots at Lin Dan during that rally again that strong forehand smash but also very easily covering the court but uh, Lee playing equally well and now leads 5-4 Lin took a six month break from Brad badminton after defending his 2012 Olympic Games gold in London into the net as Lee goes ahead and uh, there were some rumours that he might retire from the sport when he had that break after 2012 but uh, instead he said he had a wonderful time with his family something he hadn't been able to do during his career eventually returned to the sport 
and the Badminton World Federation granted him a wild card entry to the 2013 World, World, uh, World Championships where he immediately returned to form and gained his fifth singles title. And that's in from Lee to the back corner. to drop out. A Lee taking over here. Call is in. Lindan gets it right this time. And Lee, the underdog in this contest, with a singles ranking of 33. So he comes into this match knowing that he's got a lot of work to do. Lindan's current singles ranking is 19 but still climbing the ladder after getting back into competition. Lee dong now 23. The serve was out. Straight back at Lin and uh, Lin talking to himself and a bit of frustration at the moment. He's doing a lot of talking to himself. His body language isn't all that confident. He's trailing 7-9, but he's got the serve, so 9-7. Diving brilliantly. And now powering away, he recovers from defence to aggression. There's a lot of talking to himself, but it doesn't matter if you're talking to yourself, if you can inspire your body to these kind of efforts. Look at that brilliant control considering he's diving and then immediately leaping into action. Put the smash away. Back within one point now after being down three at one stage. And Lee dong Kyun will just start to feel that uh, pressure build a little on him. Lee dong Kyun's uh, hero is Korean uh, badminton player Lee Hyun Il. Now, extraordinarily, Lee Hyun Il is drawn to play in the fifth game of this gold medal match if required. If required, he could be playing to win the gold for Korea. And that's out from Lee. His touch just starting to uh, not desert him, but not quite work for him as it was earlier. He's been a member of the Korean national team since 2008. And Lin trying to play back over the net at the angle, fails to clear it.
who were immediately attacking early there, Lee, but uh, missing, it was out. He didn't muck around that time. Serve, got the return and immediately attacked down the line. Lynn was nowhere near it, but it was out. 10 all. And he's missed again. Missing both sides. Lynn Dan takes the lead at 11-10 as they have the break. So suddenly Lynn finds himself in front after struggling through most of this first game. When I say struggling, he just hasn't been on top of his game and certainly not on top of his opponent. Lee Don Kuhn, uh, this year only got as far as the last 64 so he didn't get too far at all in the world championships in the singles in Copenhagen it's the same story for him last year 2013 world championships in Guangzhou in the BWF Super Series this year in the singles he's got to the quarterfinals in Singapore and the All England Super Series but nothing to suggest that he can upset Lin Dan That's out though from Lynn. And it's 11 all. So Lee Donkyun acquitting himself very well. Inspired by this home crowd. In the Asian Championships this year, he got to the last 16 in Kimcheon here in Korea. But it all adds up to the fact that he's the underdog with a current world ranking of 33 playing a five times world champion. Oh, he attacks early there. Leaping forward, got over the top of it early before it could fall. And snapped it out of the air to lead 12-11. Service short, didn't reach the uh, service line. An error that he'd like to have over very much. So simple, a fault. Uh, Lynn makes it that much easier for him though. Having a bit of difficulty controlling the length at the back. Lead back ahead by one. What a smash. What a great smash. It was on to Lynn before he knew it. Lynn playing the clear. But couldn't get his racket across in front of the body to have any chance of returning that shot. That's 12 14. But 14 12 as Lee serves. That's too good from Lynn. The overhead smash. Just clearing the net and diving onto the court well away from Lee. The elevation there of the shot. Quick hands from Lynn. Lee into the net. And it's 14 all. Double dose. Lee does it again. From the back of the court, deep. Look at the position he's in. Smashing. Landing with his back foot out of court, but from there, too punishing for Lynn.
This is beautiful to watch. It's out. What a rally, what magnificent badminton. The shuttlers just pulling every shot out of their artillery. Beautifully played. At one stage, Lynn sailing through the air as if he was defying gravity, moving from left to right to get into position in the air. But there were some magnificent saves, power, finesse, placement. This rally is shorter, and the 15 all deadlock broken as Lynn hits back into the net. Well, that rally previous was worthy of a 15 all score line in an Asian Games gold medal match. They're doing it again. And the same result. Almost a carbon copy. Once again, it had everything, every shot they could think of and play played to perfection until Lee dropped it out. It landed in almost exactly the same spot out as the previous rally at 15 all. Now it's 16 all. This is enthralling badminton. They've really settled down. They looked a little tentative early on, probably even more so. The five-time world champion, Lin, just looked a little nervous. But now that it's just become about badminton and playing the game as well as you possibly can, the game you know so well, it's in your bones, it's in your blood, in your flesh. Now they're just playing badminton and playing it so beautifully. be pushing a point but breaking the 16 all deadlock Lynn in exactly the same fashion pushing a backhand into the net trying to play short and it toppled over Came over. Well, no, it didn't. It didn't. Just wasn't sure from this angle. But no, Lynn has leveled it up at 17 all. Just fell back. 17 all. Lynn serving for China. And that is too good. This time, having pushed Lee back. Back into the court, back deep in the court. It was open and Lin was able to snap it out of the air, was driving it back low. Lee was nowhere near it. So Lin goes ahead by one. The pattern has been broken. It's been Lee who's gone ahead by one more often than not, not this time. He monsters it back. 
Lee, power smash down the line and then comes forward and leaps all over the top of it with another magnificent smash to the other side. Lynn had only just leaned back from stretching to his right and his backhand side being a left-hander and it was already coming past him going the other way. 18 all. Neck and neck towards the finish, point for point. Oh, it's into the net from Lee. Lee, rather than going across court to the far diagonal corner this time tried to go down the line and just that fraction higher the net there it caught it so now lynn again leads by one second time in memory he's been ahead by one and it's coming late in this first game just when he wants it it's been so close since uh, they had the break. It's been 11 all, 12 all, 14 all, 16 all, 17 all, 18 all. comes to the four for Lynn, smashing it into the corner to lead by two and take game point. He sets up game point after net play. He smashes for the corner, hit perfectly, power into the corner, too wide for Lee. So it's game point at 2018 for Lin Dan of China. Lee, who's been in the lead more often than not through this first game. Just unable to go with Lin in the latter stages here. Only from 17 all has Lin been able to edge ahead. Lee has had to do the catching. Now it's game point. 2018, Lin serving for China. And there it is. Lin Dan takes the first game. Finding his best game when it mattered. He got better and better the further it went. In the early stages, he was putting a few long and a few into the net. But now, the perfect game starts to return for him. Lin Dan takes the first game 21-18 and uh, leads Korea's Lee dong -yun. One love. Lee Dong with his coach. A 23 year old.
The second game underway. Lin Dan of China taking the first game 21-18. It only took him one game point to uh, wrap up that first game. Lee takes the first point of the second game, but it's quickly levelled up at one all by Lin Dan. Snatched out of the air by Lin. He was forward. Came to him quickly, but he was able to react. Showing that his confidence hasn't been dented by losing the first game. If you've just joined us, you're watching the third match of the best of five gold medal contest between China and Korea. Korea winning the first two matches, the first singles and then the first doubles. So China must win this second singles match if they are to stay in the gold medal contest and Lindan has taken the first step towards that by winning the first game of this match with Lee Dongkyun. Oh Lee was in two minds there he seemed to change his mind looked as if he was going to play towards the uh, left-hand side as we look at it, to the backhand. You see as he comes forward here, looks as if he was going across court to the backhand side of Lin. Instead, he changed course and made the error. And the power of Lin there, just catching Lee a little flat-footed. He wasn't able to move. Lin goes ahead, 4-3. Lin to serve. That backhand, low serve, wide. That's out from Lee. Lee just has to pick himself up here. He just looks a little possibly fatigued or maybe his intensity has just dropped a little. It's 5-3 to Lin. Lin in the yellow for Korea, uh, for China. Just taking over here. That's a good response. Lee, with a little fist pump. Certainly his concentration kicked in there. But he does it again. So just as I thought that his intensity was dropping, he comes back. Playing two short, sharp rallies at the net. Not with uh, net play, but with power play. 
and it's five all. You might try and keep it go keep it going in that fashion. Well, that is a smart play by Lee. As Lynn was forced onto the backhand side towards the corner. And then Lee coming forward, taking it early and driving it into the other corner. So I won't uh, be writing Lee off at all. Just thought that he might have been slightly sagging as Lynn led 5-3, but he bounces back. The, the Korean back well and truly into the game. That's out. Six all. Just right here, it feels as if the end of the match is a long way away, but it can come so quickly. If Lynn goes on a winning streak, he can put himself into a winning position very, very quickly. The run of points is all it takes, and suddenly 21 becomes all too close if you're on the losing end of it. But right now it's close. 7-6 in favour of Lynn. Trade blows down the line. And finally, the change of pattern, change of direction from Lynn wins out as after they went shot for shot down the line, backhand for backhand. Suddenly, Lee across the court got, uh, trying to get it there, did retrieve, but uh, under pressure put it out. Lynn watching it go out. It wasn't that far out, was it? Despite the awkward position Lee found himself in, he played it very well. And Lynn ahead by three. from uh, Lee and one that emphasizes that he's got lots of energy left and is not going away. And Lee will regain gain the serve at 9-7. Lynn who will be one of the stars of the individual competition in the singles as well. He's drawn to meet world number one Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia in the single semi-finals with Chen Long of China in the other side of the singles draw so if they both perform to the best of their ability it could be an all China final between Chen and Lin or if Lee Chong Wei wins that semi-final assuming that both Lin and uh, Lee Chong Wei make it through to that semi-final well it could be Chen against uh, either one. We'll wait and see about the singles competition when we get to it after the team's event is finished. But that's something to savour in the days ahead at this Asian Games of 2014 in Incheon. Lin leading 10-7 here, having won the first game of this singles match. But this time it's as part of the team's event. Oh, tremendous power from uh, Lin. Dances back to his towel very, very smartly. Generating such power and precision at the same time. It truly is an art to combine the power which can 
run rough shot over an opposition player if used well and when you use it with such direction well that's exactly what Lynn did there 11-7 that's a very good lead at this stage of the match Lynn on the comeback trail into competitive action winning the BWF Super Series singles at the Australian Open in uh, earlier this year. But, uh, he hasn't had as much competitive play in the last uh, year or two. Won the singles at the Asian Championships in Gimchon. Wonderful placement from Lynn, working Lee around, and then finally cross court. Just angling the wrist to bring that back over the net, away from Lee. Lynn Dan's uh, wife won the silver medal in the singles at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. And the power is too much. Lee can't get under it, can't bring it back. And it's 13-7. This looks to be a winning lead, surely, for Lynn Dan. Still eight points to go, but he's put himself in a wonderful position. Yes, I imagine that uh, Lin Dan's wife, uh, Zai Zingfang, will be watching this, either here in the venue or at home. There's something intense about him, isn't there? Lee wins that battle of power, that duel. Lynn, at the age of uh, 30, just has there's something imperial about his bearing or his looks. Just has that little extra maturity compared to the 23-year-old Lee. Not that that's going to win you the game. Lin Dan, the first player from China to complete the Grand Slam of Olympic Games World and World Cup titles, and he has a tattoo that marks that achievement. into the net worked very hard and Lynn just kept playing them back playing them back and waited till the aggression got the better of Lee it's 14 to 8 14 to 8 in the second game of this second singles Supporters in red. They've got something to cheer about at the moment. Lynn will serve. Short and wide. Power from Lee wins out this time. Lynn arrived with the dive too late.
power generated from so far back in the court. understand if both players are losing a bit of sweat at this point of the match. So Lynn was leading by six. It's down to five. Back out to six. A little too close to the net. In is the call. Lee needed that. Lynn watching it so closely. Look at where it lands. Oh, yes, that was in. Definitely in. Lee with the serve. Needing to make a run. Oh, and there he gets the advantage of a mistake. Lynn trying to play it early right at the centre of the net. Going for the sideline. Into the net. That's not over yet. Lee fights back to within four. His country can certainly be proud of him here. Lee Dong Kyun. And that is in. Easily in. Great shot. This courageous Korean, Lee Dong Kyun, he's not going away. again he played one off his face I don't know how he managed to get it back he poked it straight back at Lynn back within three now Lee still serving into the net from Lynn looked casual it probably wasn't it was probably just so quick very good return clever from Lynn to finish it that way one more net shot they traded shots at the net over and over I'm sure Lee thought finally he must hit one deeper so just as Lee had closed the gap down to two it's back out to three
slicing drop shot from Lynn. Diving. It's out from Lee. Again, Lynn diving, and this time able to watch it sail out rather than dropping past him in. That was a great save, and he didn't need to get across to the other one. It was out. More sweat on the court. Lin Dan of China is three points away from taking this second singles match. He leads by four. Great at the leg. And Lee couldn't get out of his own road. Lynn doesn't worry about the customary apology. It's almost meaningless. If you can hit it fast enough at your opponent, you're going to. He doesn't bother to uh, say sorry. 19-14. Drops back on Lynn's side. That's 1915. That would have just about been death for Lee if that had toppled over. It would have just come over. Lee's at the precipice. It's all or nothing now. He must keep winning. And that is in. Great judgment on the shot by Lynn. Played it to perfection over Lee. Don't think Lee had a shot. If he did, he certainly let it go. Match point now for Lynn at 2015. Lynn down of China. And there it is. Into the net from Lee and Lin Dan turns to the sea of red of Chinese flags and celebrates his victory. A fine performance by him. Once he got into stride, he showed us the majesty of his ability and why he is a five times world champion, twice Olympic gold medalist.